<laughs> hey you guys uh this is james parks here and i had it all planned out of my mind what are you looking at oh <laughs> my pup wants some play on i'm sorry scooby-doo we'll have to play a little bit later um but yeah this is a little bit different than what i normally do you know you know me i'm like the Neuer, the destroyer and um i like doing that a whole lot you know being like uh, doing my youtube thing and you know playing games i like doing that a whole lot that's what I normally do a lot. Um, right now, we're going to talk about something different because, like, Christmas time is over. I'm sitting here at my house room, so please forgive me. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> but hey, you know, Christmas time is over. And now that it's over, I want to talk to some folks, you guys. My, my friends and everything. I want to talk to you about Celtic people and what's going on. I mean, look at this here, will you? You know, I'll start off with this. All right. We've got a bunch of people, and they remind me of like a bunch of damn, bunch of primitive people. You know, like like ancient people who try to manipulate other people all the time so they can get up all the stuff for themselves what the hell with anybody else you know whether they live or die or starve or whatever we're only talking about this kind of stuff like right here you got a man by the name of donald j trump who tried to overthrow the government and make himself a king. And then whenever we try to get investigations about it, what ends up happening? You got all kinds of people trying to obstruct. You got Republicans who are all on the side of Donald Trump on account of they're afraid that they won't get elected again, you know, to hell with the honor and dignity. You know, that's what counts for them. So they all side with him with this big lie and get up. Um, they get up uh, before the committee and are asked questions. And again and again, I don't recall. I don't recall. I don't recall except for Cassidy Hutchinson. Bless her heart. She she recalled. And this is one of the things she recalled. Jen, Ben. Williamson generally said to me, though, that Mr. Meadows, along with Ben's attorney, said that something to the effect of, I don't recall, is a completely acceptable answer to give to the committee on questions. The committee doesn't know what you can and can't recall. Yeah, I, I see a, a problem there. These people, they like playing with semantics. You know, how many times have you been in a, in a, in a, a debate with a right winger and they run out of ammunition, so they start going after semantics, you know, mincing words. Here's, what, here's a prime example of it right there. You know, I see the statement, I don't recall, as being kind of different than saying, I can't recall. You know, I don't want a piece of pie. I don't think I'll do that. I can't have a piece of pie. I can't do that. I mean, do you see where I'm going with this? Every time they say I don't recall, it's not that they can't recall. It's they don't want to recall. They refuse to recall. So every time they say, I don't recall, they need to press them. They need to say, I think you do recall. You know, if you can't recall, there may be something's wrong with your brain. You know, maybe you've got some kind of condition that causes your memory 
to be deficient. Maybe or you have Alzheimer's or something like that. So if you say you don't recall, just say I refuse to recall. Because that's what Ivanka Trump and all those other insurrectionist traitors said to the committee. I can't, I don't recall. Give me a break. They can't too recall. I mean, if the committee doesn't know what you can and can't recall, then you can recall something. Or you can't recall something. I don't recall. That's, I do not recall. I do not want to recall. That's what they're talking about. You know, I'm glad she's around. You know, I'm glad there's some people with who, who value sacred honor. Yeah, you know, our founding fathers. They're the founders of this nation. They said that. They pledged their their lives, their fortune, and their sacred honor. That's important. How, how many times has the Republicans just thrown their sacred honor in the trash with the lies, the big lie, for instance. They have no honor. You know, like Warp on Star Trek. They are without honor. <laughs> I like that Warp. He's, he's pretty cool. But, you know, that, that's that's what they do. They, they don't, they, they're, they're not recalling because they don't want to recall. They refuse to recall. You know, like, like this person said, they said, like, plead the fifth you know if you don't want to answer the question because you might get incriminated plead the god dang fifth that's what it is i mean how many times did donald jackass trump traitor trump plead the fifth and you know what um, i was looking for this trump rant that he he did in response yeah Right here. Check this out. Two years as inflation skyrocketed, crime soared, the border was erased, Afghanistan was a disaster, and Joe Biden destroyed our country. The American people have been besieged with lies from the partisan witch hunt known as the Unselect Committee on January 6th. The committee cut the part of my speech out where I encouraged protesters to make their voices heard peacefully and patriotically, but nobody ever says that. They claimed I did not respond for 187 minutes, when in fact I issued a statement urging peace and respect for law enforcement within 25 minutes of the Capitol riot, and another statement 30 minutes after that. The real story is what the unselect committee did not mention in their fake trial. And this was really fake. Days before the protest, I urged the deployment of 10,000 to 20,000 National Guard troops to keep the event safe for all involved. We wanted security. We wanted safety. There was no insurrection, and there wasn't going to be an insurrection. You're a liar. It was made up by these sick people. Nancy Pelosi and the D.C. mayor refused. If they'd listened to me, my recommendation, none of this would have happened. And you wouldn't have heard about January 6th, as we know it. They covered up multiple tweets, and they covered up a video, which were censored by Twitter and the FBI, in which I called for law and order and for no violence. And then they pushed an absurd and discredited story, where I supposedly lunged for the steering wheel in an attempt to commandeer yeah, I a think presidential you did. limousine. Think of it. I lunged yeah. the steering wheel. Uh -huh, you did. And they believe that but story. Nobody believes that story. I the believe it. barely even discuss the catastrophic security failures at the Capitol. And they didn't discuss the other thing, the reason that everybody went there, the election, which was a corrupt disaster. They did not discuss why the doors were flung wide open for people to walk right in. They didn't discuss the role of federal informants. Most importantly, the unselect committee did not produce a single shred of evidence that I in any way intended or wanted violence at our capital. The evidence does not exist because the claim is baseless and a monstrous lie. 
They, they know, know it. it. It's, it's just like the Russia, 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 Russia hoax. Yeah. This is absolutely no different. It's misinformation. The only thing they're good at. Cheating in elections, misinformation. Why? The events of January 6th were not an insurrection. They were a protest that tragically got out of control and which the left has been weaponizing ever since to censor, spy on, and persecute American citizens. You're a liar. What a fucking liar. That guy, he is nothing but a big old liar. I mean, just think of his past. I mean, you know, they had Trump's selling bullshit to his loyal supporters like, what, Trump's Trish, <laughs> let's see, Trump box, Christmas box, yeah. Yeah, he was selling some damn Christmas box of garbage right here. They look at here. This is from. Um, they look at that. See, he was selling this Patriots gift 2024 with golden tickets and a diamond Trump check and all that garbage. VIP golden ticket. I mean, give me a damn break. And look at the prices on a medium Trump box for. 149 a large trump christmas box for 299 santa comboed <laughs> 49 come on are are people so damn stupid that they let this some bitch pick their pocket with all this trash I, you go ahead go ahead and buy one of those things for five hundred dollars or a hundred forty dollars you don't find them in the damn thrift store before you know it. And then, you know, after this grift, he starts going on with those <laughs> stupid Trump NFT for $99. Give me a damn break. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I saw articles and proof of it that they stole those pictures though those paintings and everything where he's an astronaut like or a fighter jet pilot give me a break that guy's been nothing but a damn shyster to crook all his life so yeah we're gonna talk a little about celtic people along with this too because you uh i don't know if you've ever heard of it or not but trump built that car that a golf course in scotland And you know what happened? That he screwed people over like crazy to get that. There, there's a, a, a documentary called You've Been Trumped. I recommend that you see it because he was acting like a damn Roman um carpet bag and rope <laughs> i don't know what you want i mean it, it, it reminded me of how the romans were screwing over the scots and the brits and all the celtic people for a thousand years you know and, and that, that's why that I, i'm onto this with christmas because if, if if you have any celtic blood in you at all which that includes like my people you know, up in Scotland, the Irish, the Welsh, the, the Spanish, Gaul, all of that, Celtic, Celtic, all of it. If you celebrate Christmas, I hate to tell you this, but you're, you're, you're totally giving your mind over to invading conquerors with um like well, like with the ancient roman colonial method they're the they are the ones that thought of it 
you know, they're going around marching everywhere and slaving the crap out of everybody. They enslaved it, or they enslaved my ancestors. They enslaved your ancestors. Now, my ancestors didn't believe in no Jesus Christ and then a guy nailed to a cross. They were strangling folks and throwing them in a bog as, as a sacrifice. They built Stonehenge and stuff like that. They didn't, they didn't know jack squat about Christianity or any of that stuff until long after the Romans showed their ugly faces around there, you know, about 50 BC, right, about, right around in there, you know. Look it up, will you? Because after, after all that bullshit happened with the Roman conquering everything, and then Alaric kicking their butts. The, the the Roman, the Holy Roman Empire started up. You know, and then like if you wanted to be a king like Trump, you have to be willing to kill somebody to do it. I mean, seriously, I mean, and if you if you don't want to believe that some guy is the king that the Pope said that he was. You just take it up with the damn uh, execution. And this is what we got going on today. It's like a continuation of all of that. With with the um, uh, with this bullcrap that's going on. Now, they are manipulating the shit out of a bunch of ignorant folks that... Meanwhile, former president... president. <laughs> They're, they're manipulating the crap out of a bunch of ignorant folks that don't know any better for money and power. You know, look at those people. Here, let me go back a little, little bit here. Look at all those people there. Now, you know, I mean, look at her. I mean, she's probably Celtic and, uh, descent. You know, and these people, they don't even know who they are. You know, most of those people, like her. For instance, her, her uh, ancestors are probably Celtic, you know, and her, her ancestors are probably freaking Celtic, and her, and him, and him, and him, and him. But what are they doing? Well, well, let's all be Christians, you know. We'll follow this religion from the Middle East that Constantine made into the official state religion if you want to be in politics here in America, you better be a Christian. You don't be an atheist or, or a, like me, a, a secular humanist because you ain't got a chance in hell of being a politician. It says in the Constitution that there should be any religious test. But we got a de facto religious test. I mean, Trump, the one of the biggest sinners on the planet going hanging out with all those like Christian black folks in the south pandering to them when, when they're all praying and stuff he ain't praying to no God he's thinking about damn I sure do wish this was over with so I could go somewhere else and try to foster off some other bull crap that I have like a, a, a Trump College, Trump University, or the stupid uh, Apprentice TV show, or those dumb Miss America pageants. Or maybe he should go with like his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, and have a private line to Moscow. Don't you remember that before the election? Yeah, a private line to Moscow. You know, oh, what about... Trump having like secret meetings with Russians. Secret meetings with Russians. Look at there. Tries to hide details of Putin's meet. Look here. Held secret meetings at the G20 summit. What happened to those notes? That guy is a crooked as the day is long. And he should never be president again. In fact, he should go to jail. All those people should go to jail. And if the DOJ, if the DOJ doesn't press charges on him 
and the rest of his cronies and, and pals. Something seriously wrong in America. I'm telling you. You know, like, that's why I, I'm so adamant about people knowing who they are. You know, like, I sent off for a DNA test. Yeah, or I sent my DNA off. It hasn't come back yet. But I've been told different things about my ancestry. You know, like, when I was first remembering anything, I was told, oh, well, you're a Christian. You are a white person. And those black people there, you don't want to hang out with them. They're not as good as you. That's what they were telling me. I grew up with a lot of bigots in the, in the southeast. I was born in Fernandina Beach, Florida. Raised in, uh, for the first 14 years of my life in Jacksonville. These guys, they're bigots, let me tell you. Old DeSantis and all of them down in Florida, they're bigots. You know, they talk about all, all that Southern pride. I mean, look at how many people were in the insurrection with Confederate flags. They like, they, they like slavery. They want slavery because they're a bunch of lazy assholes who can't do their own work. They got to try to steal someone else's labor, you know? So... I don't want you guys to follow that kind of stuff anymore. I mean, I don't celebrate Christmas even. I don't. I I give a nod to it because I got family who are Christians and everything. But I don't have anything just like personally against like all Christians because everybody was raised. Well, not everybody, you know, but a lot of people they were raised that way. The time they were born, that's all they knew. Was, Ho, 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 Santa Claus. All that pagan stuff that was co-opted by Christianity. So you need to really figure out who you are. Because if you're walking around holding a torch and chanting the Jews will not replace us, then you don't know who the hell you are. You know, anybody here in America, any old fat slob or, or whatever... Some person who has an impoverished ego or even an overblown ego that thinks they're better than someone. They got to put somebody down because of the color of their skin. You need to think twice about it. Think you're a damn Nazi or something? The, the real Nazis back in World War II in Germany, they would laugh at all these idiots carrying torches around here. They'd send them off to concentration camps with slave farms. You know, so <laughs> all that the Jews will not replace this bull crap at it. And with Trump saying, oh, the, all the Democrats are, are Marxists trying to destroy America. Give me a damn break. Now, I, I read a lot of works from Karl Marx, and it's all about economy and stuff. You know, I, I'm, I guess I'm partly a, a Marxist, and I don't want to destroy America. This is my home. You know, people, Democrats, they are not Marxists. You know I mean, that guy saying that Democrats are a bunch of Marxists trying to destroy America, he don't know what a Marxist is. The people he, he's telling that to and who believe him when he says that, they don't even know who Mark, what a Marxist is. They, all they know is a bunch of world, post World War II anti-Soviet propaganda. And let me tell you something, Stalin, he wasn't no damn Marxist neither. You know, Mao, he wasn't a Marxist. Yeah, all there's never been a truly socialist country on this planet. But you got guys like him. Roman wannabe emperor fucking Trump talking about Marxists. You know what it is? Divide and conquer is what it is. That's what it is. They keep poor people divided every which way possible. You want to be rich? Do you want to be a real rich billionaire? All you got to do is throw all your morals and your dignity and your 
values and your honor in the trash and go around trying to manipulate every last person you know and then the ones you don't know even into giving you the money. Give me the money. I don't care how I get it, by hook or by crook. Hey, I got these NFTs that you can have one for $99. Just give me your money because I got some legal bills to pay. That's Trump. And he should have some legal bills to pay. I ain't no Celt or I ain't no Christian. I'm a Celtic person. Give up all that stuff because that is the road to ruin, friends. <laughs> it's a road to being a slave. I mean, how many times was Christianity used to enslave people? And there was some guy back in the, I don't know, back to like the Civil War days or something. Uh, I have to look it up. It wrote a daggum book about how to use Christianity to keep black folks enslaved. Well, you know, people... The, the descendants of the African slaves here in America, they don't even know who they are. You know why? Because their ancestors were sitting at home, minding their own business when a bunch of Europeans and probably Africans too, West Africans, barged into their home, slapped them in chains, threw them on a ship, sell them off to America to solve the labor shortage. Yeah, that's what that was about. Freaking labor shortage. So let's steal these Africans because the queen said, oh, well, anybody who doesn't have have like written laws and written rules and everything like we do, well, they're just nothing but a bunch of uncivilized barbarians that you get to enslave them. <laughs> and, you know, you're talking about like not being what they say I am, like, for instance, a white person, you know who made that stuff up about it? White person, a black person, and all that? A bunch of slave traders made that up. You know, back in the 16th century, you know, whenever they started up all that slave trading and everything here in America, they are like, oh, well, those folks over there, they are black. You can enslave the crap out of them. You can generationally enslave them. You can do whatever the hell you want. They ain't even human. But those other guys, those lighter skinned people from like the European area and shit, like you, you, you can't like generationally enslave them. You can screw them over, you know, you can like sign them up to bogus contracts for indentured servitude, you know, or you can like rip them off or whatever. That's okay, but you just can't enslave them. That's where all that white and black bullcrap came up, came from. I ain't no white person. I touched it off that DNA for that DNA test. I guarantee you it won't come back saying white person. It won't. It'll just come back saying Celtic, I think. You know, I, I'm not absolutely sure. I was doing my ancestry, um, you know, the family tree, you know. Here, I'll, I'll look that one up. Yeah, I was doing my ancestry, and I'm afraid to go too far back on it on account of, oh, wait a minute. On account of, I'm not sure. You know, whenever I get back to Thomas M. Parks, that's where I start, like, being unsure. So... I sent off the DNA test because I'm going to find out. But I sure as hell ain't a white person. And all, all you descendants of Africans, you know, I guess like they like, call those folks black folks. And that's the common term nowadays because it's so ingrained into us. And they call everybody that looks like me like white folks because it's freaking ingrained into us from they were born, you know. But those, those so called black folks they ain't black folks they're like i don't know like nairobi or kenya or something like that or tootsie or zulu or something you know just like you have like scottish and irish and, and spanish and all that that they're all celtic people 
Well, all the African people, they were like Zulu and uh, Tutsi. You know, I don't know all the tribes in Africa. I haven't studied as much on that, but it's some interesting stuff. I've studied some of it, you know, and I say it's really interesting. Way more interesting than this made up garbage that we're fed from the day we were born. You know what my ancestors looked like? I show you what my what I believe my ancestors looked like. As far as I can tell, my ancestors were Picts. That's from Scotland, see? So they, they looked like this. It looked like this kind of thing. All right. Let's see. I'll open that image in a new tab. And see, that's what my ancestors looked like. Apparently. They they painted the whole body blue with some stuff called woad. And they, see that guy holding that dude's head? That's what they did. You know, they, they tattooed themselves from head to toe. And when they went into battle naked and even the women they were warriors and they also tattooed themselves from head to toe that's what picked means painted ones the, the romans they are the ones who named it that and even the word celtic that's that's greek you know a, a lot of my people's cultural identity has been lost forever I don't know how to get it back. I'm trying to get it back because what we live now is bull crap. And it's well, largely what, what's caused well, a lot of these problems that we got today. You know, people fighting each other over the over tiniest little bullshit like the color of people's skin. You know, I don't have nothing against anybody with different color skin or even different religion unless they're trying to shove it down my throat like and that's what's been happening to all of us you know i mean how many times have you heard like some argument oh look they they don't want to say merry christmas anymore they want to say happy holidays because they're trying to destroy christmas give me a break i mean how insecure are people if you want to be christian go ahead Nobody's stopping you. I don't want you to be that way, but hell, if you're going to be that way, just do it. Don't worry about everybody else. You know, there's some people, they want to make you be a Christian or make you be whatever, or like ISIS, make you be a Muslim. Well, you can't. You can't make anybody be anything they don't want to be. Because there, there's slaves and there are thralls. The slave, they don't want to be a slave. Their mind is still free. They hate that stuff and they want to get away from it. That's why they're a slave. They're being forced into it. And a thrall, that's a whole different story. A thrall has totally accepted their enslavement, mind and body, and they believe it. They believe the big lie. They are thralls they're happy with it see there's a big difference between a slave and a thrall but you know like let's see african people oh look at all these lovely pictures man i mean you can find a lot of stuff you know these people these are 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 the black folks are our people here these are their um people you know they're not like black people right what religion were they a thousand years ago were they christians no maybe they were i don't know some of them might have been as you get closer up towards israel and all of that. I mean, hell, uh, there were Coptic people in um, Ethiopia. But still, the bullcrap that is going on today, the people who look like them here in 
the Americas, they have lost their identity. It was stolen away from them. It was stripped away from them. The minute those chains were slapped onto their ancestors and they piled them into a boat, brought them over here, that was the end of their culture. For them, it was totally yanked from them. It was in large part yanked from my people in a similar fashion. Not not exactly the same, but in a similar fashion. There was a time when, like back, back whenever the Americas were first being colonized, and they had the big time labor shortage. So, you know, I mean, the African slaves is one way to deal with it. But in other ways, it was like the indentured servitude. <laughs> Most people, even poor people in London or wherever in England, they didn't want to come to the Americas because all they heard about was is like monsters and stuff, you know, and you die and everything. <laughs> they, they were uh, more comfortable with the devil they knew than the devil they didn't know here in America. So they started rounding up vagrants and, and people, uh, basically homeless people, right? And piling them onto ships. They'll tell them, look, you got a choice. You can either go to prison and that work farm in prison, or you could be an indentured service servant and go to the new world, you know, be an indentured servant for five years, whatever, 10 years, I don't know, and go to the new world. So they would take the indentured servitude because it was a hell of a lot better than being put in some prison than the Tower of London or whatever, you know. And then whenever they got here as indentured servants, they're indentured master would screw them over all the time to try to extend that and extend that and extend it as long as they could you know most of them were able to work their way out of that indentured servitude but it was still a raw deal it was still a bunch of wealthy assholes and privileged jerks taking advantage of other people and stripping their identity from them, like with the Gaelic language. It was against the law to speak Gaelic. They were trying to strip it. You know what they did here in the Americas with the uh, with the indigenous kids here, sent them to those whiteification schools, right? They want to teach them how to be a, like, live like a white person. They, they didn't allow them to participate in any of their indigenous culture they're trying to strip away the culture that's what was done to the my ancestors that you know gaelic people people up in london and everything or in england they didn't want them to be like irish hell whenever the irish got over here they were making caricatures like they were monkeys and stuff you know, dogs and Irish stay off the grass because of the, oh, what do they call it? The natives. <laughs> they weren't even natives. It was people whose ancestors were here for like a hundred years or so. Well, I'm a native, and these Irish people, they stink. Give me a break. See? So now, now we're all divided up. You know, you got, you got people who are, who are Celtic people thinking that they are white people and, and people who are African people thinking that they are black people and the white people are hating the black people because they are black and some of the black people hate the white people because they're white and everybody's hating each other because they're poor and men and women are pitted against one another. Everybody of a different faith is pitted against one another. Our brothers and sisters south of the border are pitted against us and us against them. But you know who ain't pitted one against the other? The rich and the poor. Because the rich have the poor underneath the thumb. Because they got them all divided up every which way is a Sunday. So I'm telling you guys, the best thing for you to do is start remembering who you are. You know, don't believe guys like Trump whenever he's 
up there trying to sell you a bunch of crap and get your money so he can live the life of Riley while you don't. I mean, it's just look at the situation. It's just horrible. I mean, our people, they shouldn't be at each other's throats because of a bunch of damn politics. Because the politicians are controlled by the corporations. And the corporations are out to get more money for the stockholders. So they're going to manipulate us. Don't let them. You need to learn who you are. You need to learn who the hell is your ancestors. You know, like, what if your ancestors were like Alaric? You know who you ever heard of Boudica? <laughs> Alaric and Boudica, they are my favorite two people in history, I think. Because Boudica, she was an Iceni queen that fought Rome to the, to the end. They, the Romans, they raped her daughters and flogged her in the city square just to show that they're trash. And she slaughtered hundreds of thousands of Romans because of it. But she ended up losing. But then Alaric, he came years later, about 410, and put Rome under siege. And then when the, finally the gates were flung open because people were starving in the streets, they came in and slaughtered them and stole everything. They didn't find any food. That's what they wanted. But the Romans had treated him so badly that they felt like they didn't have any other choice. Alaric, he was trained by the Romans in Roman uh, methods of warfare. They came back to haunt him because they just wanted a place to settle. Rome wouldn't let him. Rome started like trading them a dog for their son or their daughter for us to use as a slave will give you this dog that you can eat in exchange for your child. Well, the reason why I go on about this kind of stuff is because what we have today is nothing more than a continuation of all that Roman metho methodology, colonial conquest, the rich privileged people using threats of violence to keep everybody in line it's got to end it's got to end you know i totally encourage everybody to get to know history get to know what your true ancestors are i mean did, did your ancestors live in armenia were they, like, persecuted by the Romans and thrown into the arena? Were they enslaved and brought over here on a ship? Well, what were they before then? You know, or, or the people in South America. There was a, or here in the North America, there was a giant genocide going on. There, there's just a whole tribes lost. You know, and all that has been done. We can learn from it. Or we can just keep it going. I, I prefer not to keep it going. That's why I've rejected all that stuff for the, the Christianity and to be a white and all that stuff. That ain't me. I, I'm that. What you see there, that's who I am. That is my ancestry. You don't want to... You don't want to live a lie, do you? And that's all we got with Trump. That guy, he needs to go to prison so bad. Let's see. Oh, I'm running out of steam. This is my first show here for a long time. Look at that. And advisor, Ivanka Trump, you're going to find those same three I words. Do, I do not recall. Do not recall. Yeah. Yeah. she's a liar, he's a liar. If, if she 
says anything that gets Trump convicted, it will be to save her own ass. These guys, they they're like those Romans, you know. The Romans they would stab each other in the back for power. Well, these guys they're just exactly the same. Throw each other under the bus. I mean, how many threats have you heard? You know, I heard Trump say, oh, well, like, when people start going after me, my supporters, they all get kind of pissed, so you better not. Was that right? You're going to get pissed? Because why? Because you're, you're under the thumb of Roman colonial method that you're living a lie? Is that why you're getting pissed? Because you're a, a black person? And you don't even know who the fuck you are. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just get passionate about this. Uh, this is all gelling in my mind. It has been gelling for a, quite a num few number of years. I, I, for a long time, thought was something bad was going on. I didn't know exactly know what it is or was. Because, why? I, I was raised in, in the same schools as everybody else. I went to the same churches as everybody else, and I was told the same bull crap as everybody else. And it only, it took me like almost dying from disease and being thrown to the curb myself before I started like really digging and finding out what, what is going on. See? So, <laughs> yeah, here, here's a, Oh, that's live right now, <laughs> what I'm doing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead on and call it. You know, and maybe I'll, I'll do Zenoyer the Destroyer in a little while. Because honestly, I'm trying to make some money off my channel. I'm getting it up there too a little bit, you know. This, this is just talk about my channel a little bit. But yeah, I, I, I like doing my videos, my gaming videos. I've been playing like this here uh, GTA 5 for a real long time now. Um, yeah, I like doing that. Um, and I've actually started working on it to where I'm getting it up a little bit. See here, my analytics. See, it's 113. And before, it, it was averaging like 40, 20 and stuff because I just didn't really... I didn't really bother with it anymore. I just got kind of bummed out with the whole mess. So now I'm trying to see right here. I, I was really getting a lot right in here. Look there. See, I, I had a video of December 12th and I was making some money on it. Then YouTube changed the policies and it caused my channel to be demonetized. And then I started like losing interest, losing interest. Losing tons of interest, but then now I got my interest back up. The last 90 days, see right here, that's when my interest started. When I, I'm like, you know, James, time to get on it again and try to make some money with your YouTube channel. I live on Social Security. So if you go over here and give me a like and a share and hit that notification icon, uh, that would help out my channel a lot. If you have a YouTube channel, you know, we can help each other out and make our YouTube channels successful and make some make some little money there. You know, I, I ain't looking to get rich or anything, but a couple dollars of extra would help out. So go ahead and give me a like and a share. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to hard. Look here, here's my content that I got so far. I got a lot of videos. Now, look at this one here. Got a lot of views because it was like the snowman locations. But anyway, that's what we're going to have today. That's the end of it. And you guys, it's been, you know, wait, and before we go, I'll just say one other thing. You know, all you people out there, people like me, common folk, like me, you know, poor folks. That are, are liking Trump, liking all that, you know. I think you better reevaluate some stuff. You need to start getting pissed off because that guy is dirty rotten. 
shyster. He's taking you all for suckers and for chumps. You know, wearing those bag of hats and all that. And, and waving the flags and everything and going to insurrection. Come on. He's taking you for a ride. You, you shouldn't believe him. You know, I will respect you if you don't believe him and you turn away from him. I'll be like, yeah, I, I'm glad, brother, sister. You know, you turned away from that. Way to go. And any of you other people who don't, and you stick with that fool to the very end, I'll have to think from either that you're a chump, a dupe, stupid, or, or just a damn criminal and a traitor. So that's the way I see it. And I, I'm just a regular old guy. You know, uh, I got a GED. I went to college for a little bit. I didn't get no master's degree and all that. I worked on airplanes all my life. In the industry. Just like you common folks working your butts off. And hoping that you don't get old and kicked to the curb. Or get sick and everything you have taken away from you. So, think about it. You know, you don't want to be taken for a chump and a dupe. So... We'll, we'll leave it at that. And I hope you guys have a great week. <laughs> I really, really do. So you guys take care now.